Get away! I've done nothing to you. I've touched nothing on this dust ball. No talk to no one. I'm not here to hurt you. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic. The Macrosa Order. The Huts. Uh, it doesn't matter. My master is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. I don't have time for diplomacy right now. You need to listen to me. You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power, and fire, and brilliance. The instant the Master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched, and I want no part of it. It's already too late for that. Fool! Everyone Jadis ever touched will all be destroyed! Oh! Still alive, but he's not getting up soon. Now we have to drag him to the ship. He's just a terrified old man. Right. I'm sure he's a real sweetie. What would working for Jadis and all? This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cass. She awaits you there. Keeper, out. You've learned your lesson yet, Keeper. Yes, my lord. I don't like that name. You certainly haven't done a very good job of keeping your agents. Speaking of which, Siphon 9, your superior and I were just chatting. Are you all right, sir? I'm fine, Agent. I'll... Speak to me, not to him. He wouldn't be here if not for your lack of respect. You see, in our last conversation, you said something that irked me. I don't remember what. I thought about having you kill, but then I thought, who's really responsible here? And I decided to punish Keeper. Keeper didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> You're truly ignorant of the nature of authority. <laughs> Keeper, you can go. The Cypher and I have business. I appreciate that, my lord. As for you, Cypher, good to see you alive. It's getting dangerous. I'm so sorry about this, sir. I'll be fine. I have Colto sprays in my office. Be careful. So, Fjord Yanel, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? You have a body collection? I'm joking, Agent. Yanel and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. It'll give me something to look forward to. Think of it. Dream of me and of your service to me. Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantle the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terra network went into overdrive. If you need me to slow down, I wouldn't mind a vacation. No need for that yet, but I'll pass it on to Keeper. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. 
shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Listen to his voice. He has no idea what we can do to him. You may be right, but that's no guarantee of success. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. <laughs>